Hey guys, Robin Euclid here from Your Healthiest You. And today we're talking all about matcha. Maybe you found me from my blog at yourhealthiestyou.com or you've read my best selling book, Go With Your Gut. And I've recently discovered matcha and it's now my favorite thing. <laughs> and the funny part about it is I have very close friends, one of my best friends, Marissa, who's like, matcha, you gotta drink matcha. And I'm like, I don't like green tea. Why would I like matcha? And so finally, I kept seeing it on Instagram and my friends were drinking. And I was like, all right, there's got to be something to this. And so I tasted it and discovered I did not like it. <laughs> it is not the most delicious thing to me. But I started to read all about the benefits. And I started to find my own way and experiment in the kitchen with what I thought um, tasted good to me. And from finding a recipe that I learned to love over time, I now freaking love it. I love the way my matcha tastes. And most importantly, I love the way my matcha makes me feel. So let me explain a little bit about that. So it definitely has caffeine. It has about 25 milligrams of caffeine, which is about the equivalent of one third of a cup of coffee. But what's so great about it is it has some caffeine, but it also has theanine, which increases the alpha waves in your brain, which means you get this like focused uplifted energy, but you also get this kind of like chill mellowness with it. So any of that jitteriness that you get from coffee or anxiety, I don't know, sometimes if I drink coffee, I'm like, oh my God, I just drank coffee. <laughs> um, matcha doesn't do that. It just makes me feel really alert and centered and focused. Um, there are some amazing traditional ways that you can make it, but today I'm gonna show you the way that I make it, which is kind of a cheap way to make it, but I'll talk about that a little bit more. Uh, some additional benefits, it's loaded with antioxidants and those antioxidants are actually concentrated. So your body really gets them. And what that means is it has wonderful anti-aging properties to it. It's a very traditional drink from Japan and they have some, you know, the longest longevity there. It's like they're, I don't know, a hundred times more likely to live to a hundred or something like that, um, which is amazing. So matcha really has all these incredible benefits, makes you feel awesome. It's got um, a lot of what's familiar in green tea and they say about your metabolism applies here for matcha. So let's talk about the taste. Matcha definitely, it tastes real. Like it tastes a little bit earthy. It definitely can have a little bit more of a medicinal um, kind of wave to it. But if you add some of these fun elements, it tastes super mellow and delicious. Uh, first, I want to highlight uh, this brand, Panati Matcha, and we're going to start making my matcha. So I'm going to add, you can grab a blender. Um, I add a teaspoon of this matcha. I like it. It's fair sourced, fair trade sourced, and um, they also have these awesome on-the-go packets. So if you don't want to get out of the blender and you don't want to do the traditional whisking in a cup, they have these great on-the-go packets that are instant, and you can have them hot or cold, and you don't need to um, whisk or blend or do anything, and they are delicious. And you can um, do them up the way you like. You know, if you like to add a little stevia, which is an all-natural sweetener to it, you can do that, some honey. Um, I kind of think of these as like the um, instant oatmeal version of matcha, right? You just rip it open, pour, add water, and you're good to go. So I added a teaspoon of matcha to my blender. In here, I have a cup of water, and we're gonna include the recipe for you below as well. I included a cup of water. You don't want that water to be boiling. You want it to be just under boiling. So what I do is I, about 175 degrees, if you guys are getting like geeky and measuring, or not measuring, measuring, checking the temperature, I'm never doing that. What I do is I boil it, and then I leave it while I get everything else ready. And then by the time I'm ready to pour the water in, the mellow, the water's mellowed a little bit. So I've got a cup of boiling, under boiling water there. I've got some more liquid, which I'll tell you about in a minute, but we're gonna do the other ingredients first. So I've got my teaspoon of matcha. I'm also adding two full scoops of this dope product um, from Vital Proteins. It's called Collagen Peptides. Um, basically, it's pure protein. It's 18 grams of protein for two scoops. So this is kind of like a bulletproof. If you ever heard of butter coffee or bulletproof coffee, this is a similar version of that um, in the sense that it's going to give you protein and we're going to add some healthy fat too and really nourish your brain first thing in the morning. It's not going to be a meal replacement. I find for me, it's kind of, um, I have it first thing and then I do my morning routine. I take care of my baby girl uh, who's 15 and a half months old now and I take care of her and then 
by the time I'm ready to sit down and have a calm, peaceful breakfast that this holds me over for that. So about a couple hours, I would say. It's two scoops of collagen there from Vital Proteins. Um, this is an animal product. They do have a plant source product um, as well if you don't. Um, if you're vegan or just prefer not to have an animal source. But the great thing about this collagen, it's amazing for your hair, skin, and nails. And I have to say, like, my hair used to never grow past, like, here. And I know that's not that much length. But for me, if you've ever really wanted to sport, like, the really long hair look, I just couldn't get it there. And all of a sudden, I noticed after consistently doing this for a month, I was like, oh, my God, I need a, a real haircut. Not just to get rid of split ends, but because it's, it's like, actually too long. Um, so it helps strengthen your nails and gives you nice glowing skin. So that's a cool product that I definitely recommend. So I put two scoops in there and then I'm adding delicious coconut butter. Oh, we just had a comment that someone has coconut oil. Yeah, there's a ton of different ways that you can make your matcha. You can add MCT oil, coconut butter, ghee is another wonderful product. Let me grab that. Oh, I put it away. <laughs> I tried to tidy up back here. Oh, wait, I see it. Hang on. This is Ghee, which is clarified butter, and this is a great company, Fourth and Heart. They make this Madagascar vanilla bean ghee. I mean, it's amazing in here. So this is definitely something else you can use. I found that I like to use that sometimes. I really like the coconut butter in kind of my, what do I call it, my brain off version. Like I'm not thinking about it. I'm not experimenting it with it. This is just my go-to. This is, this is, you know, I just, I have this memorized basically. So I put a full tablespoon in there and coconut is wonderful for, again, hair, skin, nails, antioxidants, a really good healthy fat helps lubricate your organs. It helps your body absorb vitamins and minerals even. So all the benefits in matcha, you're going to get them even more because they've got a carrier, which is this fat and this coconut butter. If you don't have coconut butter, again, you can use coconut oil. You can leave it out. Um, you can basically just do any version of matcha and it, it pretty much works. So we've got um, our ingredients in here. And then you can also experiment with some herbs I've been playing around with lately. These are from Sun Potion. This is rhodiola, helps you focus. Um, I travel a lot, so it's really great for um, brain focus. And I, I give more uh, uh, info on all the sort of add-ins that you can do and the benefits of matcha on my blog at yourhealthiestyou.com. So you can check out the blog post there for some sort of like the full overview. And then we've got ashwagandha, which is really good for just everything. Ashwagandha is like the, herb. I know you're like, ashwa what? Ashwagandha. <laughs> it's an Ayurvedic um, antioxidant herb and it just makes me feel like really balanced. That's the best word, like harmonized and balanced and calm and just able to just sort of go in. Um, my biggest goal with my community is for you guys to be able to listen to your own intuition and those messages coming from your gut. Um, so this is a wonderful herb to incorporate into your diet. And I just use a little bit of these guys, like a quarter teaspoon, because they can taste very herby. Um, so to this one cup of liquid, I'm going to add a cup of homemade hemp milk. Um, can you recrack the ingredients? Yeah, absolutely. So the ingredients are a teaspoon of matcha. I've got two scoops of vital proteins, collagen peptides, and one tablespoon of coconut butter. And we're also going to include the recipe below, and you can find that at my blog at Your Healthy Zoo too. Um, also, I want to say, keep tuning in because we're going to have an amazing giveaway at the end of this video. I'm so excited. Um, so be sure to keep watching all the way through so you can learn how to enter that giveaway. Patty says, hi, Robin. That's my sister, Patty. <laughs> hi, Patty. <laughs> so to this matcha recipe in my blender, we are adding one cup of homemade pet milk. So you can just use two cups of water. You're going to see a theme here. Like you can pretty much do anything. Uh, you can use water. You can use almond milk. Um, I wouldn't suggest a dairy milk because um, I read some research that that um, doesn't jive with matcha as well. You can lose some of the benefits. So you want to have a plant-based milk um, or you can just use water. But homemade hemp milk is so easy. We're going to include the bonus recipe for you guys below as well. So don't miss that. But basically, it's three tablespoons of hemp seeds, four cups of water, you blend, and that's it. You don't have to strain it. I create, I make a jar at the beginning of every week and then I have homemade hemp milk and there's, that was it. Like I literally put the ingredients in the blender and then you can use your homemade hemp milk. So for this recipe, I like, oops, lost my little matcha over. Um, for this recipe, I use one cup of water and one cup of the hemp milk. Um, can you drink this while pregnant? Great question. Yes, technically it's a green tea. You can drink it, safe for pregnancy, but it does have caffeine. 
So I know some people try and avoid caffeine or stimulants of the same kind while they're pregnant. Um, some people lower or limit it. If you are used to drinking coffee and you can't quite give up the caffeine or the morning um, ritual drink, then I would say matcha would be um, a great alternative. But again, pregnancy, baby, all that, it's always what works for you. I, I don't want to give pregnancy advice. I'm not technically authorized for that. I mean, no one is. You are. <laughs> um, but I know for me, I had caffeine during my pregnancy. It felt fine for me. Um, I just checked in with my body and what would feel good. And I did have some caffeine every day. Um, so the last question was, yes, so you want your liquids to be just under um, boiling. So the hemp milk I warmed on the stove and the water that was in here, I boiled in my tea kettle. You could do different versions of that. You could put it all. Um, you're welcome, Monica. Thanks for the great question. Um, and if you guys have questions, you can type them in now. Uh, this video is going to be live for a few days after or maybe forever. And you can keep posting your questions below and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, so I could have put the water in and the milk in the pot together and just put that in here. But I just use my tea kettle. I don't know. Again, we kind of have these rhythms that we do in our own lives that work for us. Um, maybe they're not the smartest or most efficient, but it works for me. Um, so yeah, so I put the, to recap, again, we've got our matcha, coconut butter, uh, peptides, collagen peptides in here, and um, uh, the hemp milk. I did not add any sweetener. You can add a little bit of stevia. You can add a little bit of honey, maple syrup, date syrup is a great one. Um, but I encourage you to try things without sweetener first and then experiment. See if you just need a little bit um, or maybe you don't need it at all. All right, we're going to blend. I'm going to have a little blend time. So you're going to, you know, play some music or something <laughs> while I'm blending. And blending overview. I typically, first of all, make sure your lid is on really tight. Tip number one of blenders, because I've had matcha all over these beautiful white cabinets. So er, make sure your matcha, your lid's on good there. And then I'll blend it for up to a minute, but I'm just going to do a quick little blend now. Even if you blend it for, I'd say, 20 seconds, you're probably fine. And you can keep it on low or move it high. It all works. <laughs> this gorgeous matcha. Can you guys see? I'm going to pour. You'll get a better look. Um, so before I pour this giveaway announcement, you can get your own mug that looks like this. See the good. I think it's backwards on Facebook Live, but these are beautiful mugs from your joyologist. She's gifting a mug. So here's the whole giveaway. You have to be a U.S. resident. Sorry, international folks. We'll work on something for you guys. But if you're in the U.S., you can get this your joyologist mug. This amazing instant matcha from Panna Tea. So you've got all your little packets in here ready to go with you. And all you need to do for this giveaway is comment on this video below. It can be anything, a heart, a comment, something that um, was most helpful for you. And then you can, um, and then you also need to follow your joyologist, Panna Tea, and me over on Instagram and like my last photo. So we'll include all those instructions below, but basically um, head to your joyologist, Panati Matcha and Robin at Robin Euclid on Instagram. Um, follow us and like my last picture all about matcha and you can get this exact dope mug and this exact canister. And there's like, this is worth a lot. It's kind of really cool. Thanks Panati, you guys are the best. Um, they use ceremonial grade matcha. You wanna make sure in your matcha that you're getting ceremonial grade. There's culinary grade, which is fine for cooking with, but it does not taste delicious, <laughs> okay? Or nowhere even like near good, I think. Um, so you wanna start with some really quality matcha and they have that. So thanks for that giveaway, you guys. And again, we'll include those instructions below and make sure you comment on this video too. So let's pour this beautiful baby up. Ready? Woohoo! This is the most satisfying part of making your own matcha latte is the pour, man. Woohoo! Look at that. Yes. Oh. Hey, hey. I got it exact. Oh my gosh. Look at you. Okay. My blender, drink, tonic, mixer, makers in the morning. Is that not the most satisfying thing ever when you just get the last drop? 
perfectly in there. Ah, oh, yes. And taste, most important part. Oh my God, so good. Mm. Love the color, me too. It's like just so beautiful. It's this bright, vibrant, minty green almost. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, so again, experiment with this, try this. The best thing about the blender is if you don't like it, you just pour it back in, add something else, more or less of something, and make it your own. I've added cinnamon before. I've sort of like refined this as much as possible to use as few ingredients as possible. Um, sometimes I'll add maca. Maca is really good for women's hormone health, gets you a little, I don't know, gets things going down there, a little juju, a little mojo happening in, in your life. So maca is a great ingredient to add in. There's a whole bunch of world of herbs there. Um, but basically I keep it super simple. Um, like I said, I don't add sweetener, but you can. And that's how I make my magical morning matcha. And I really do find that it makes my mornings magical. <laughs> I made one before I did this tutorial because I was like, I really just want my matcha in the way that it makes me feel. Uh, so Patty just shared that she adds a little vanilla to her. So vanilla would be a great addition. Um, so have fun with this. Uh, don't forget about the giveaway. You wanna comment below on this video, head over to Instagram and follow Panity your joyologist and me and like my last photo and that will enter you to win the giveaway if you're in the US because like look at this freaking giveaway it's so amazing um you're welcome Christina it 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 is good it took me a while to get here i was like the anti matcha person my friend marissa was like so you're drinking matcha now huh who told you about that so many moons ago i was like you're right you're right and i always find with myself i resist things at first that I know will work for me the best in the long haul. I don't know why we do that. I play like emotional hard to get, like spiritual hard to get or something. But eventually I get there, I find my own way, I find what works for me, and then I get to share it with you guys. So that's it for our matcha party. Thanks again for joining us. Be sure to enter the giveaway and let me know um, if you like this video, please like it and let me know what you want to see more of. I would love to do this every single week um, from my kitchen and share more healthy, easy recipes and lifestyle tips. And if you've got my book, Go With Your Gut, woohoo, thanks for getting that. And um, you can get that on Amazon or everything can be found on my website at yourhealthiestyou.com and we'll include that link below as well. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I'm going to drink my matcha and have my little party. Mm -mm. All right, cheers, bye. <laughs>